Hamstring in the Rice game, left the game versus Grambling. Healthy here tonight. Surveying the entire field. Nothing open, but plenty of time. And he dives down. Over the course of his career. Second and six. Swings one out to Tank Dell. Plays, and we do those consistently. That's how they got to a third and manageable in this opening possession. On third and one, the true freshman, Alton McCaskill. Both offensively and defensively for the Cougars. Tune plenty of time, bounces off of. Downfield, like a play like that, you catch it on a comeback route, and you're trying to get upfield quickly before you secure the catch. McCaskill out, Tazon Henry comes in and gets. They typically face eight yards or more on this down on for the season. Tune, middle of the field, this time it's caught, and it's Singleton making up for the drop and then some in the red zone and down. Yeah, Singleton, a season ago, put up big numbers. A guy that was a big part of their offense. Hasn't been as big this year, but a huge and a yard, yards after the catch. Great run after he secured that catch. Had a drop, rallied. The true freshman, McCaskill, he's down. Tune. Throws to the back corner, wide open, but And he's open. He just threw him out of bounds on this one. Too much tune, having to let go of that football with pressure right in his face, and Carter having to elevate. And six, they can get a first down. They get it inside the one. Back corner is open to Dell, touchdown. Well, that just wasn't efficient. That was also explosive. That's what got him down into scoring position. Clayton Toon was terrific in that game two years ago as McCaskill running from Texas Tech will come in on a second and two. Fake to him. Toon wants to throw the deep ball. He's got a man down there. Dell. Two touchdowns in the first few minutes. Well, who is worrying you? If you're a defensive player for SMU, it's number one. Toon to Henry. And Henry is hit by Brian Massey. Coming into this game, so far pretty balanced. Six runs, six pass. Henry running behind his pads. Three of three are the Cougars on third down. Here comes the pressure. Toon gets rid of it. Make it four for four. Past the 20. Seasons established early in this game. Toon wants to throw the deep ball again. Diving for Again, attacking the middle of the field. We've seen it on the shallow cross earlier, and this time, great job by Carter. Another. Certainly looked like he, he juggled it first, but he had those arms. Execution has been there. Total domination by the Cougar offense so far. And another strike this time goes to the tight inchman from Dallas, who become a good defensive back for Sonny Dykes' team. Little trickeration back to Toon to the end zone. Incomplete. Well, Toon tries to throw him open. And he's just a little bit late because it gives Brian Massey just enough time to rally to this football. Now, people are going to say, good job by Brian Massey. Toon keeps drifting back, throws to Henry out of the backfield, and he's inside. At the assistant and coordinator level, and uh, this program was a little bit scarred by that. What does he dial up on third and 11? Toon facing heavy pressure. He gets out. Back-to-back -back plays by the Mustang defensive front, and they're able to get to Toon. In their remaining games, Corral's had an outstanding season. For the Rebels, hope he's okay. Hate to see that. Tazon. But a gamer. He's looked healthy here tonight. Underneath, little tight end pass. Nice job going down the field by Trahan. DB's trying to bring him to the ground. He only had 23 career catches before this season. Ari has more than that this year. Now, Toon has a man open again. Coming back to the ball is Dell. And Dell running free all night, Stench. It's the play action pass that's eating him up in that secondary. And Dell, who we knew had the type of speed 
to get behind your downfield. That's a third of 40 plus, 52 yards on that one. Toon just goes down. Nowhere where to go with the football on the condensed end of, this, of the field. One second and 11, straight ahead goes Carr. And Mulba Carr. Toon under pressure and it's almost picked off. It was deflected. Cincinnati Bearcats. They're not in the top six. <laughs> I know. I'm wondering why. And who knows? They mess around getting that conference championship game. I'm not sure, so sure that. I guess. I mean, with the one loss, and especially if it, that one loss comes to a team with the one loss. Two straight no gains. This one. Time. A near pick and going for it here on fourth down. Mulbacar in the backfield. He gets the football and he bangs into Mustangs. He fumbles the country on fourth down. Pretty bold call right there at midfield. And that ball popped out right now. I don't think Carr was going to get the conversion in score game suddenly here with Houston up 20 to 14. Toon doesn't like what he sees downfield and takes off. And for almost 50 versus Rice. Probably where he injured that hamstring. And nowhere to go for Tate. Toon flushed out again. Against his body, completes it to the 35-yard line. And that's enough. Protection held up pretty good. Toon ends up flushing out of there. I think the pocket looked pretty strong at that point. Regardless, throws on target to Carter. Cougs would like to get into the top 25. That could happen with a win tonight. And it's Henry, who 21 yards receiving and two touchdowns. Toon steps into the football and it's a strike past the 35 and down. Find the coverage several times on deep shots. This time, though, does a great job. Can come out of that break. We're talking to Marcus Jones, one of the better DBs in college football for the Cougars. He came out of the game. Already a career high, 139 yards receiving, but out of the game. And Toon takes off and dives past Mitchell. Did a good job of finding an opening. Cougs just with one timeout left, and Henry isn't going to get the first down. Is inside 45 seconds left. Toon drifting back, and it's complete for a first. Now Toon lobs one down there for Carter and just. And he had Carter. He's got a step right there and just over yards. But remember, Witherspoon already connected from 51 earlier. Toon. Dumps it off underneath, and it's Singleton running after the kick. Wide open inside the 15 and out of bounds. Here at Old Dominion, it's the 10th play of the drive for the Cougs trying to take the lead back. Toon stays behind the line of scrimmage. Incomplete. Would try one more play here before bringing on the kicking team. You can see in the back of the end zone of Toon Hatton flushed to his right, which you know he's going to as a right-handed passer. Toon to the back of the end zone, and that's a flag. College player here. He's in Dubai watching the game on the ESPN app. We appreciate that. Here's Toon stepping up. And he... Second and nine. This is Henry. And it's a first down run past the four. Jim Nance broadcast booth here in Houston, Texas tonight. Lots of golfers from both of these schools. Henry pass by number 72, Tank Jenkins. Watch this finish. That is what. You certainly have done that throughout this drive. And so far in the second half for the Cougs. All day. Stepping into the throw. Russian three. Toon does a good job being patient in the pocket. You see me had to press up just a little bit, started to get it to Herslow all the way. Henry changes course since the right. Toon, nice catch. Hadn't heard. Secondary and now on a big conversion.
An eight yard gain, and this is a first down run inside C on the kick return. Cougars have scored every time they've had it in the red zone. They're in there again, tuned to the end zone, and it's just a. Seen a lot of Henry on this drive. That first down shot did not help to set up the third and 10. DeSoto, end zone, got down again. He hates candy corn so much, which he was very ready to talk about. He's Mulba car doesn't get much. Fourth down, stop talking about where you want to go eat Mexican food. We might have to punt here. Mm. Nothing at one point in this game. Now up four and trying to get off the field. Toon keeps drifting back, has all day to throw. Overload to the right with the two tight ends. Got to get to the 35 and Carr's not punting in his own territory. He does it and it pays off. First. And Toon somehow gets out of there and dives ahead to the. Toon against his body. Look at that throw. It's Herzlo running free inside the yards. Toon said he loves Aaron Rodgers. That was an Aaron Rodgers type play. Toon underneath throw this time and it's Irwin with his first catch. Second down for Houston at the 21. Toon with a flag down to the end zone. In there are fouls by both teams on the play. Holding offense number 65. Pass interference. Defense number seven. Those penalties will offset. Replay. Second down. This has been a blast on ESPN2 on Saturday night. And it's Henry getting Third and two for Clayton Toon and the Cougars. Plenty of time to throw a strike. But Trey has got great hands, doesn't he? And the coaches talked about this. He kind of juggles this one a little bit. You see it there for a second. To the third quarter. Toon drifts straight back and throws, and it's at the certainly should be the last play of the third quarter. The other side of the field to Bell. Look at all the season trying to hand SMU their first loss. Clayton Toon's been terrific. He throws into cover. Before they That's came out. Defense number 16. Ball be placed at the two yard line. Automatic first down. That's Trevor Denbo. It's that left arm that I think got him. And he's back, Judge. Let me get this out of my pocket. That's right. Now, Carr, he does. Bounce. Before that last attempt was nine of ten on third down throws. Henry fake to him. Toon keeps it, and he died. That two receivers to the right side. Toon in zone. Got it. To back to back double digit scoring drives for Texas Tech. Barely touchdown on offense this year. That's his first interception of the season. Henry. Up to the 42. Along the line of scrimmage, still five defenders. Nice little bubble, and it's caught, and it's a first down in 100 yards in a game this season until tonight. And again, on his back foot. Of course, this an added possession on the turnover. Not much dual recovery in the first half. Makes the tackle there. Now well timed. You see right there behind the line of scrimmage. Cougars need to get to the SMU 39. Toon drops back and it's deflected. Watch Matatia on this blitz. He's picked up. Except he didn't. Oh my goodness. Look at that. I mean, that is. And then he gets the deflection. It, what a play. Jim first loss of the season. Houston trying to give SMU their first loss. Also, it's 7 0. And it's Henry dancing around, and he's tackled. And this one way down, just inside of one, barely gets it off. Now Toon under pressure, and he'll give himself up. Third, third downs are 9 of 15. They need to get to the SMU 48. Toon drifting back on the run, and he's down here. Ended up with a free runner right up the middle. 
Great job that time. Richard Moore came under.